Hello again, whiskey friends. Hey, welcome back to uh, the channel. This is Kelsey here coming from the Whiskey Riffs Lounge, doing a couple of reviews on some semi-new bottles, uh, new to me and new to uh, our state here in Arkansas, but I really feel like these are some really cool um, and interesting bottles that I think you should check out. So without further ado, let's get this show kicked off and then we'll talk about all the palate, nose, and all the good stuff. Welcome back, guys. So today we're reviewing a couple of Louisiana whiskeys. And I know you're thinking, what, Louisiana is making their own whiskey? Yeah, it's kind of different. Uh, this is called JT Mellick, and we're going to be doing a review of the small batch as well as the single barrel that I've got right here. Um, these are both made from rice. So these are rice whiskeys. They did not disclose the full mash bill, but um, it's a pretty interesting pour, and I really feel like this is something you should check out if it's in your area. If you can't, maybe check it out uh, when you go out of state somewhere and look for it um, because these are really, really good values um, as well as really good whiskey. So let's break down the nose, the palate, and the finish on the small batch. Here's what the bottle looks like uh, for the small batch. Pretty cool little crawfish on there. Um, this one comes in at... Four years and uh, 96 proof. So this is a good got good starter whiskey uh, for you guys to warm up your palates with. So let's get into the nose first. So right off the, the bat, I always get on this whiskey a like crushed candy, like a Smarties. If you guys know what a Smarties is, it's kind of fruity, but it's kind of confectionery sugar on the nose. And then it goes into a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of uh, just a hint of the oak. Not a whole lot of oak there, even at four years, but it's got a really good color for four-year-old whiskey. So, I mean, um, it's uh, relatively coating. It runs pretty fast, so it's not real viscous, but it does coat the glass well. Um, the next thing is just that continued baking spices come out a little bit more and the fruits get a little bit darker uh, the more it sits in the glass. But let's uh, let's check out the uh, palette on this one. Hmm. Man, that's good. Just really easy, sweet up front. You get some of that confectionery sugar and vanilla up front. And then um, it kind of just... It goes pretty fast. It doesn't have a lot of viscosity to it. It does coat your mouth pretty well, but it's just an easy pour. It's super easy to drink, but it's also very approachable. And for the non-bourbon drinker, I think that this will surprise you at how well this comes across to somebody who is new to bourbon as well. Second sip is staying pretty consistent with the first. Not a whole lot going on in the mid palate. Um, it kind of keeps that same type of profile in the mid palate. Nothing really different other than just a little bit of dryness towards the end of the mid palate, but not, not off-putting at all. Um, could just be my palate today too. Okay, it is getting sweeter uh, on the nose as well. I just poured this a few minutes ago, and it's already starting to sweeten up on the nose. So let's go in for the, the, the finish here. Let's find that out. Man, that's just a good, easy drinking pour. I think it's something that, um, that will be good. Here is the small batch score for you guys um, as it relates to uh, – our point system, if you guys are new to the channel, we, we do a lot of analytics based upon our scoring of these goes into this. But this is the overall, overall score for the small batch. Uh, we're looking at a 72.5 on the flavor score. The experience is uh, 74. And then a value score is really where this one really pumps up 
Um, this is a $36 bottle. If that, uh, in some places I've seen it as, as cheap as 32. Um, so overall, just a really, really good pour. Um, would I recommend it? Absolutely. Do I plan to buy another one? Absolutely. This is a great pairing for cigars as well for you cigar smokers. And, um, it just really comes off super easy to drink, but also has some complexity and some heft as far as proof goes for just a daily drinker. Um, so really good score for that one. Uh, we're going to jump into what the single barrel looks like. looks like this right here. So um, I believe this was uh, Champagne uh, there in Louisiana where I was able to uh, pure up. Uh, oh. <laughs> Let's try that again, where I was able to obtain this one. And we're looking at 121.4 on the proof. So quite a big difference in proof. Let's look at the color difference. It's a pretty pretty much a darker pour, if you can see those side by side. It's uh, It's got a little bit darker tone to it. So um, let's get into the nose of the single barrel. Right away, it's, it's a little bit more custardy, a little bit vanilla. Uh, it's darker uh, on the fruit notes. It's more of a brown sugar, kind of uh, a darkened brown sugar note, too, on the nose, which is one of the things that I really liked it. Now, you can still smell the, the bones of what the small batch has to offer as well in there. It's just a little bit behind all of the things that I just mentioned. So it still has some of that confectionery sugar note, but it turns more brown sugar up front. A little bit more oak on it. Uh, this is four plus years. So I'm going to say these are probably anywhere from four and a half to five and a half years on these single barrels that were released this past year. Oh man, such a great smelling whiskey. Again, like I said, it's a little bit more velvety, custardy note, vanilla up front. Um, then it moves into that brown sugar and then it moves into the confectionery sugar and then the oak was the final thing kind of that i get on the nose so cheers guys let's go in for a taste hmm so up front it's a little bit more robust um as obviously it should be it's 121 but it still doesn't quite drink up to the proof. I would say maybe 112, 113 is what it feels like to me. Um, right up front, you get some of the sweet, um, but it does coat the glass very well. I don't know if you guys can see that yet. Let me swirl it around. It is pretty viscous. I don't think you can see it, but it does coat your mouth very well. Um, it's a little bit more complex on the palate as well as the nose. This is one that I really, really enjoyed a whole lot um, in tasting the two side by side. Actually, uh, we'll get into the score a little bit later, but on the, the mid palate, a little bit more spice on the mid palate, sweet up front, then spice, and then oak. Um, um, as it goes back towards the back on the finish, it finishes, like I said, just a little bit dry, but I think this might be my palate tonight um, and doing this because um, I don't remember that being in, in the past uh, there as much. Not off-putting in any way, just kind of surprising. Um, let's go in for a third set for uh, the finish here. Yeah. Lots of sweet and spice. If you like sweet and spice, man, this is going to be right up your alley. Again, these are single barrels. There's going to be differences between this one and the one you might get. I have one that I haven't even opened yet from another store. So I will probably do here in a little while another review of just the single barrels to see how much they differ from one to the other. Um, but again, overall, this one is just really hitting all of the things that I like in a whiskey as far as what's on the palate and the nose together, uh, they match. There's not a great distance between the one or the other. Mm. Yeah, man, that's just, that's good. 
sweet and spicy, just like I like it. Um, so on this one, let's look at the scores for the small batch. This one scored extremely high for me. I gave it a flavor score of 85, an experience score of 84, and 100 on the value score. I mean, this, this is a $55 value uh, on the bottle. That's what it's retailing for. For a five-year-old whiskey, it's right in line with where it should be price-wise. But I think for the amount of flavor that you guys are getting uh, on these single barrels, for the price point is just really, really good. So I scored this as an excellent whiskey. Um, I know some others may think, well, how can you score a craft that high? But I'm telling you guys, this one is one to keep on your radar because I think as it gets older, it's just going to get better. Um, and so that's our scores for that one. Uh, let's go back and I'll finish up here. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in today. Uh, really looking forward to getting in some more of these reviews with you. I had to re-record a whole bunch of these because I screwed up with the slides before. So thank you for your patience. Thank you all for your support. We really appreciate it. You're more than just a number here. We want you to feel valued. Hope this brought some insight into a whiskey maybe you haven't seen or tried before, but please give it a try. Give us a like and a subscribe. We really appreciate it and all uh, the support that we have from you guys. So We'll end it there, and until next time, you guys have a great night. Cheers. Jeff, just be friends with me. But you have these whiskey friends, and you say hello again. Oh, Jeffrey, you should just be friends with me. But you have these whiskey friends, and you say hello again. Oh, Jeffrey, you. So just be friends with me, but you have these whiskey 